Hello everyone, welcome again. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to continue that problem solving series. And in this series, uh, my next problem is uh, as in last video, I discussed what is a uh, simple date format by using the simple date format. How can you validate your date? In this video, we'll see the same. Uh, something like same and uh, it's like how to validate the uh, time format and uh, and uh, let's check as uh, how to do that like uh, if user input insert this step type of time as a take input and that is a valid time and if user input like this so it's invalid time because is a minute is more than 60 so just uh, check us practically how to do that and uh, First of all, this is my last program and this I did how to validate that date and in this program we will see how to validate that time. Okay, so similarly for time I have to take in format. So my time format will be, uh, I am going to editing in this code just take a uh, input of that simple uh, create object of simple date format. First of all, create uh, take a string as a user by this two line, and after that, create an object of simple date format. And uh, this time, my object will be format will be like home, uh, hours, minute, and uh, mpm, or like you can take second also. But uh, as an input required, only two minute and hours, so we will take only two and a. Now what i'm going to do just parse as one in this and check it's a valid format or not i think this is a little bit change in this so Yeah, it's a valid date so you can see it will print as to also so valid and uh, same if i'm going to do something wrong here like 80 so you can see valid dot format date format again oh it's printing that as to value Okay, this invalid date format and exception also there. So uh, now I'm going to explain you what I did. Like uh, I'm taking a uh, input as a string and time, and after that, uh, what I'm going to use, I'm going to convert in a date format. So if I add some extra point, like I, I the input should be 60 and below the 60. If I take 80 minutes, so it will take in a next hour or next hour or it will add it it is 9 to 10 o'clock something so that's why we use a set lenient so we are going to do a set lenient as a false so now you can understand how we how, why we use that uh, set lenient and uh, now you can see here uh, it's a printing the correct output the exception also there so okay by site linear will be uh, defined that uh, if is there any error if there is any invalid thing so it will uh, provide an exception so in the exception we will printing that invalid message right and uh, by this you can validate your math your uh, uh, time if i'm going to i'm going to tell something one thing uh, more if you are going to enter something is like that and uh, you are including that second also or uh, if you are including that uh, second also 
second like 2044 so again it will showing the invalid so just use that triple dice here it will check about your second also something is like that so wait I'm gonna check that format is right or wrong yes for Zero five zero four forty four. It's a valid time you can see here. And for that, you have to just use this format HM and add their SS for second. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like, please subscribe this channel and uh, for more video for more update and wait until the next problem. If you have any your own problem, please comment to me. I will try to solve your problem also and uh, we'll take more tutorial on the different different problems in java so please share with your friends and uh, i will provide the description link in the description box so you can check all the code from here also uh, by code1.com in a problem solving uh, menu and you can check all the details thank you